Korupsi selalu punya cara untuk mematahkan hati kita. Jujur saya terkejut mendengar KPK menangkap pejabat publik dengan reputasi baik, Nurdin Abdul. Bayangkan betapa ngerinya bila nanti batasan itu kabur, lalu setiap penyuap disebut sebagai dermawan. Saya, apa masih mungkin berjuang di jalur yang sudah demikian tercemar ini? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, my beloved friends. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Nurul Firdausia. I'm the tertiary student of Walisangwa Islamic State University, especially in English Education Department. So, today I want to talk about an issue that has destroyed people's trust, hurt the economy, and hindered the country's progress. That problem is corruption. Corruption has become a frightening threat in many countries around the world and has a negative impact on the life of all of us. However, I believe that we have the power to change that. We can be a chance of challenging fighting corruption and building a more just and dignified society. What exactly is corruption? Corruption occurs when individuals or groups in authority abuse the power and trust they have a personal gain. Corruption can be found in various fields, from the government sector, business, education to public service. In every case of corruption, there are parties who harm and parties who benefit. The party who suffers the laws is us, ordinary people who have the super due to lack of access to adequate public service, quality education, and fair economic opportunities. The parties who will benefit are a handful of individuals who obtain wealth and power through their economies. However, I would like to say that we must not give in to corruption. We must build a spirit of resistance and refuse to be a part of a corrupt system. We have the power to stop corruption and bring positive change in our society. Let's start with ourselves. First of all, 
It is important to us to understand that integrity is the foundation of the anti-corruption. We must commit to living with integrity, adhering to the values of honesty, transparency, and accountability. Our every action should be based on this principle, but in our personal and professional lives. If we all live with integrity, we can create a society based on justice and fairness. In the second, education plays a key role in fighting corruption. We must teach the younger generation about ethical values, anti-corruption, and the importance of participating in building a clean society. Education must provide knowledge, skills, and awareness to our children so they can recognize and reject corruption. Through education, we can create a generation of strength and integrity who will be at the forefront of fighting corruption in the future. And the third, we need to strengthen the legal system and law enforcement. The government must provide strict sanctions against perpetrators of corruption without discrimination. No one is exempt from the law, including high-ranking officials or people in position of power. In addition, we must support corruption eradication institutions such as the Corruption Eradication Commission or KPK and provide full support for the effort to eradicate corruption. Only by strengthening the legal system and fair and transparent law enforcement can we create true social justice. Third, active community participation is very important in fighting corruption. We must have the courage, the courage to report acts of corruption that we witness. Don't be afraid to be brave, witness, and fight against injustice. We can also join civil society organizations that work in the field of anti-corruption. United, we are strong, and showing our courage and strength, we can change the paradigm and build a society free from corruption. The fifth, transparency and accountability must be principle applied by the government, public institution, and private companies. Public information must be openly available and easily accessible to the public. Auditing and monitoring mechanisms must be improved to prevent corrupt practices. By encouraging transparency and accountability, we can build a fairer system and avoid corrupt practices. And lastly, I would like to emphasize the importance of maintaining enthusiasm and perseverance in the anti-corruption struggle. Change won't happen overnight. This is a long and difficult journey. However, we must not give up. Every small step we take, every action we take can have a significant impact in fighting corruption. We must remain optimistic, united, and determined to create positive change. My friends, corruption is our common enemy. We are all in a war against corruption. Let's unite and move forward as a chance of chance. Be an example of living with dignity, fight for justice, and participate in building a clean and justice society. Together, we can defeat corruption and create a better world. Thank you all my friends for your attention and fighting spirit. Let's start chance for ourselves and spread it throughout the world. Together we can.